A quadratic function has the equation y equals, oh, it's factored, x plus 2, x minus 3. When comparing the rates of change at the points x equals 2 and x equals 3, which statement is correct? Now, thing number one, it mentions rates of change. It mentions nothing about average rates of change. So if you're thinking f of b minus f of a, stop it. Thing number two, this is a calculator problem. So let's pull up a picture of what you see on the calculator. Now, what I'm doing here is rate of change is another fancy word for slope. So it's asking me, what's my slope going to look like at x equals 2 there? And what's my slope going to look like at x equals 3? Well, at x equals 2, you know, I can't tell exactly what it is, but I have a positive slope. What I do know is that x equals 3 right here, that slope is steeper. Now, how do I know that? This is concave up. And when it's concave up, the rate of change is always increasing. So what I can say is the rate of change for 3 is greater than the rate of change for 2. The rate of change is greater at 3 since 3 is greater than 2. That's true in this case, but not necessarily true. So I'll put a question mark right there. The rate of change at x equals 3 will be 1 more since 3 is 1 more than 2. I don't think that's the case. By using x values close to 2 and x equals 3, the rate of change is greater at x equals 2. That's not true. By using x values close to 2 and x equals 3, the rate of change is greater than at x equals 3. I guess that that would be true, although a is technically correct in this case. A is not always true, so we can't select a. So in this case, b is true because I can use these points. But I just used a picture and I used common sense. I'm, I'm not going to go to, you know, second table and try to get values close to three. You could, but I'm not going to do that.